Arun Shaori born the 2nd of November 1941, is an Indian economist, journalist, author and politician. He has worked as an economist with the World Bank, a consultant to the Planning Commission of India, editor of the Indian Express and the Times of India and a Minister of Communications and Information Technology in the Vajpayee Ministry 1998 He was awarded the Ramon Magsaysay Award in 1982 and the Padma Bhushan in 1990. Early life Arun Shaori was born in Jalandhar, British India, on 2 November 1941. He studied at Modern School, Barakamba and did his Bachelor's in Economics H from St. Stephen's College, Delhi University. He obtained his Doctorate in Economics from the Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs at Syracuse University in 1966. Personal life Shaori is married to Anita, and they have a son. His sister is the journalist Nalini Singh. Arun Shaori speaks about his personal life and reviews his life events as case diaries. My writing is like the case diary of an advocate which is aimed at winning a case. And his opinions on journalism. Career. Topic: Economist. Shortly after receiving PhD in economics from Syracuse University, Shaori joined World Bank as an economist in 1967, where he worked for more than 10 years. Simultaneously, between 1972 to 74, he was a consultant to the Indian Planning Commission, and it was around this time that he began writing articles as a journalist, criticizing economic policy. Topic. Journalism In 1975, during the emergency imposed by then Prime Minister, Indira Gandhi, Shaori began writing for the Indian Express in opposition to what he saw as an attack on civil liberties. The newspaper, owned by Ramnath Goenka, was a focal point for the government's efforts at censorship. He became a Fellow of the Indian Council of Social Science Research in 1976. In January 1979, Goenka appointed Shaori as executive editor of the newspaper, giving him a carte blanche to do with it as he saw fit. He developed a reputation as an intelligent, fearless writer and editor who campaigned for freedom of the press, exposed corruption and defended civil liberties such that, in the words of Martha Nussbaum, his dedication to the truth has won admiration throughout the political spectrum. Shaori has been called a veteran journalist. Shaori was a winner of the Ramon Magsaysay Award in 1982, in the Journalism, Literature and Creative Communication Arts category as a concerned citizen employing his pen as an effective adversary of corruption, inequality and injustice. In 2000, he was named as one of the International Press Institute's World Press Freedom Heroes. He has also been named International Editor of the Year Award and was awarded the Freedom to Publish Award. Politics He was nominated from the state of Uttar Pradesh as a BJP representative for two successive tenures in the Rajya Sabha, thus being a member of parliament for 1998-2004 and 2004-2010. He held the office of the Minister of Disinvestment, Communication and Information Technology in the Government of India under Vajpayee's Prime Ministership. As disinvestment minister, he led the sale of Maruti, VSNL, Hindustan Zinc among others. Shaori was among many who objected to the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Divorce Act 1986, which the government headed by Rajiv Gandhi proposed to alleviate communal violence and retain Muslim votes. Claimed by the government to be a reinforcement of India's constitutional secularism, it was widely criticized by both Muslims and Hindus. The liberals among them, says Ainsley Embry, saw it as a capitulation to the forces of Islamic obscurantism, a return to the 13th century. The Hindu revivalist critics thought it was weakening Indian unity. 
Shaori wrote articles that tried to show that the treatment of women as required by the Quran would in fact offer them protection, although the application of Islamic law in practice was oppressing them. He was in turn criticized for what was perceived as a thinly veiled attack on Islam itself, with Rafiq Zakaria, the Muslim scholar, saying that Shuri's concern for reform of Islam was in fact demonstrative of Hindu contempt that used the plight of Muslim women as an example of the backwardness of the community. Veer Sungvi termed it, Hindu chauvinism with a liberal face. After the defeat of the BJP in 2009 general elections, Shaori asked for introspection and accountability within the party. He deplored factionalism within the party and those who brief journalists to aid their own agenda. Shaori has been described by Christoph Joffrelo, a political scientist, as a writer sympathetic to militant Hindu themes, and has publicly voiced support for the aims of the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh, RSS, a nationalist Hindutva organization. This has caused unease among some of those who admire his journalism. He has said that, although he sees a danger from perceived Muslim violence such as the Ghadra train burning incident of 2002, people have tended to redefine the Hindutva term. He says that prominent members of the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, of which he is a member and which has ties to the RSS, specifically, L.K. Advani and Adil Bihari Vajpayee, have shown their opposition to sectarian hatred and in their attempts to make the BJP inclusive have tried to marginalize those on both the Muslim and Hindu extremes who promote such hatred. Writer Arun Shaori has written numerous books. According to Martha Nussbaum, the traits of his writings are, recognizably the creation of a smart, determined, muckraking journalist, they are polemical, ad hominem, often extremely shrill in tone. But despite their style, the books are obviously the work of a brilliant man, with a wide if idiosyncratic learning, a passion for the freedoms of speech and press, and a desire to get beneath current events to address underlying issues. His writings have gained him a considerable following. They were initially on a diverse range of subjects related to his journalistic interests, including corruption and polemics against left-wing historians. He subsequently concentrated his polemicism mostly on issues relating to the detrimental effects of religion on society, producing critiques of Christianity, Hinduism and Islam. With the exception of Gandhi, he has little time for any religious thinker and, says Nussbaum, his books, Nowhere seek to provide balance, nowhere is there a sense of complexity. All have the same mocking, superior tone." Historian D.N. Jha criticized Shori's book Eminent Historians, which concerned the NCERT controversy, that it contains slander and has nothing to do with history. Topic IIT Kanpur In 2000, Shaori pledged the entire amount ours. 120 million of discretionary spending available to him under Members of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme MPLADS to setting up of Biosciences and Bioengineering Department at the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur. In 2005, he again pledged Rs. 110 million for developing a separate building for environmental sciences and environmental engineering at the Institute. Topic. Publications Does He Know a Mother's Heart? How Suffering Refutes Religions 2011, ISBN 9789350290910. We Must Have No Price Worshipping False Gods 2012, ISBN 9789350293430 A Secular Agenda, for Saving Our Country, for Welding It 1993, ISBN 9788190019934 Eminent Historians, Their Technology, Their Line, Their Fraud 1998, ISBN 81-900199-88 Falling Over Backwards, An Essay on Reservations and Judicial Populism 2012, ISBN 9789350293553 The World of Fatwas or the Sharia in Action, 2012, ISBN 9789350293423 
Are we deceiving ourselves again? Where will all this take us? The parliamentary system Courts and their judgments, premises, prerequisites, consequences Governance and the sclerosis that has set in 2005, ISBN 9788129105240 Harvesting our souls Hinduism, essence and consequence Indian controversies Individuals, institutions, processes, how one may strengthen the other in India today Institutions in the Janata phase Missionaries in India 1. Arun Shaori and his Christian critics Mrs. Gandhi's second reign Only Fatherland, Communists, Quit India, and the Soviet Union Religion in politics Symptoms of fascism These lethal, inexorable laws, Rajiv, his men and his regime The state is charade, V. P. Singh, Chandra Shikhar and the rest Will the iron fence save a tree hollowed by termites? Self-deception, India's China policies origins, premises, lessons, lessons the Chinese taught Pandit Nehru but which we refuse to learn, ISBN 9789351160939. Anita Gets Bail published by Hapurkalans India, co-author. With Sita Ram Gol, Harsh Narain, J. Dubashi and Ram Swaroop, Hindu Temples, What Happened to Them Volume. I, A Preliminary Survey 1990, ISBN 81-85990-49-2 With Sita Ram Gol, Konrad Elst, Ram Swaroop, Freedom of Expression — Secular Theocracy vs. Liberal Democracy, Voice of India 1998. With Arun Jaitley, Swapan Das Gupta, Rama J. Joyce, Harsh Narain The Ayodhya Reference, Suprema Court Judgment and Commentaries, Voice of India 1994.